Hello everyone. Today there was a new update to Class In. So make sure you update Class In when you enter the app today. There is one feature in the update that I think a lot of people are really going to like. One complaint that a lot of people had with PowerPoint lessons was that when you had a video embedded in the PowerPoint, it would not work in the classroom. If you clicked on the slide with the video, it was just a blank white screen. You could not see the video and the student could not see the video. So the workaround for that, that I've been using and most people have used, is you've downloaded the video, then you upload that video into your cloud, and then you just pull the video into your classroom from the cloud. So then you'd have your PowerPoint lesson and then you'd have to open a separate video to play for the student. So it was a little bit more work involved with having to show a video, but they added a feature that allows you to play videos directly from your PowerPoint. But there are a few important facts and things that you need to know. So let me explain first the type of videos it will play. So when you make a PowerPoint, I'm gonna pull this up just so you can see because some people might not know the differences between the types of videos you can upload to a PowerPoint. So. There are two ways that I upload videos to a PowerPoint. So if I go to insert video, you have the option of this device. This would be a video that I have downloaded on my computer in a form of an MP4. So here I have my video, hello, hello, clap your hands. It is downloaded to my computer. Then I can click on it and then it inserts or embeds this video into my PowerPoint. So that is one way to insert a video into a PowerPoint. There is a second way to add a video, and the second way does not play on the class in classroom, but I still want you to see the difference so you understand what to use and what not to use. So my first one was a downloaded video inserted into a PowerPoint. This one will play in the class in classroom now. So now my second type of video would be a video link, so like a YouTube. So if I went to video and then I click online videos, I could take a video from YouTube. So I'm gonna open up YouTube. So here's a video. And then over here. let me wait till it goes through. Okay, so here I could take the link from my video, copy, and then I go here, and then I paste the link and insert. Now it's taking that video directly from YouTube, and it's pasting it into my PowerPoint. This video will not work on class in still. So if you want to be able to play a video from a PowerPoint, it has to be a downloaded video like this. So I have my downloaded video and my video link that does not work. So now I'm going to show you how it works in the classroom. This is one I've already done. I've already uploaded it. That way I didn't have to wait for it to upload into my drive. So I created a PowerPoint and it's just called video test. So this is a PowerPoint lesson. So you notice here, I can see this is what it looks like when my video is ready to be played. This is a downloaded video from my computer embedded into my PowerPoint. So now when I click play, the video is going to play. But there's an important thing to notice here. It actually opened a second tab. So if I look over here, I can make it smaller so it's easier to see. Here is my PowerPoint. It still looks the same as it did. And then when I hit play, it opened a new tab with the video, but it worked. I didn't have to go into my drive and find another video to open up. I was all able to click on it directly from my PowerPoint and then it automatically opened a new video tab for my student to see and for me to see. I am able to hear it, the student is able to hear it. You don't have to click on anything for sharing sound. It's just like it would work in a PowerPoint. They can hear everything. So once I'm done with that video, all I would have to do is exit and then I'm back to my PowerPoint. 
So notice I'm going to go to my second video. My second video is the one that I used the YouTube link. Same thing happened as before. I cannot see the video. I cannot play the video. It doesn't work. So I can only play videos in a PowerPoint that have been downloaded to my computer and then inserted or embedded into the PowerPoint. Then I just upload the PowerPoint into my drive and I can play the video directly from my PowerPoint. It just opens into a new video. It makes things a lot easier than having to keep up with all the different videos that I have for a lesson and all my different PowerPoints I have for a lesson. I can just put them all into my PowerPoint and find them a lot easier. I hope everybody is as excited about this as I am because I love using videos, especially for my younger students and having it all in one place will make my life so much easier. If you have any questions about using and downloading a video into a PowerPoint, just let me know. Bye everyone.